chat, 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 can you hear me? We might be looking at the biggest perv in sports entertainment in industry history. Now, we already knew that as such, but now this takes it to another level because this is nonfiction Vince McMahon and nothing's different. I mean, these charges, these allegations, these claims right here are sickening and I'm not gonna make a long video about this. I grew up a wrestling fan. I should be going to bed, but I'm I have to I can't like rest my mind without first covering this allegation against Vince and Linda McMahon. Vincent Kennedy McMahon Jr. y'all. Let's take a look at this. And by the way, this is this is this is USA Today. This is USA Today. Ring Boy Scandal. Let's check it out, man. This is crazy. As the WWE Universe, at least behind the scenes, continues to struggle with running a highly successful wrestling promotion while being investigated by the Department of Justice for sex trafficking and sexual assault, the promotion was the subject of another trial, this time for their management minor ring boys in decades past. Centered on the actions of Mel Phillips, a former ring announcer for the company, the suit was filed in Maryland on behalf of 10 unnamed former ring boys with Vince McMahon, Linda McMahon, WWE, and TKO all named in the suit. Underage ring boys were groomed, exploited, and sexually abused by Phillips who targeted children from broken homes. His sexual assaults occurred not only at wrestling events, but also in hotel rooms and other locations where Phillips transported the boys in plain sight. The defenders were fully aware of the systematic and pervasive abuse and did nothing to prevent or stop it. The FBI has already identified at least 10 ring boys abused by Phillips, but there are likely countless others who have suffered in silence for decades. Survivors only recently learned the extent of McMahon's and WWE's knowledge of what happened to them and that the sexual abuse in the company began at the top with the McMahons. Whoa. The filing of Grant versus WWE uh, da, 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 da. TKO's acquisition of WWE and the ouster of Vince McMahon as CEO of all provided new information and possibility of coming forward without facing re uh, reprisals, and, reprisals and intimidation from the McMahons. This information, along with recent changes to uh, sexual abuse laws, allowed them to obtain justice in this trial. Whoa. <sighs> WWE and the McMahons had a responsibility to the underage boys and they failed them in the worst way possible. We will fight vigorously to uncover the truth about the systematic, insidious, and life-changing abuse, said Mark DiCello, founding partner of DiCello Levitt. I guess that's a law firm. We commend our clients for their courage in coming forward and promise to relentlessly seek justice for them. Whoa. Hey, come in, Vince. Uh, all, secret, all things are coming to the light at the end, buddy. These survivors are courageous people. A third of victims of sexual child abuse never come forward because shame, humiliation, trauma, and physical and psychological harm keep them silent, uh, said Professor Marcy Hamilton, founder of CEO, da 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 da, a child leading nonprofit uh, think tank that fights, preserve, and strengthen children's rights. Sadly, we know that one in five girls and one in 13 boys will be victims of sexual abuse before the age of 18. Da, 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 da. Let's go on down. Although Janelle uh, Grant trial is currently on hold with the DOJ, investors, McMahon and company, this particular trial does not have the same federal component with very significant discovery potential in the McMahons. WWE and TKO fell to an agreement outside court. In the meantime, this is just another major stain on the face of WWE, which, cons which constantly takes one step forward and two steps back in the court of public opinion. Given everything that's happened with Pat Patterson, and the ring boys in the past, it's becoming increasingly difficult to ignore that the WWE empire was built on many broken lives and not only in the wrestling ring. And that, my friend, that is very telling because you're talking about millions of kids that are engrossed in this fictional slash non-fictional world where a lot of things that are happening behind stage are actually being portrayed in front of you. and vice versa a lot of things that are happening on stage are staged it takes you to get to a certain age before you even look for the difference much less be able to recognize what's real and what's fake in there and and what's what's an act and what's not it's just sad bro because i didn't look up to vince mcmahon now, i never have not even when i was into wwe he's not somebody i was like oh my god i respect vince mcmahon such a great businessman i knew he was corrupt man that he i mean I knew Vince McMahon's on-camera character 
wasn't too far off from who he actually is. A pervert. It's coming to light, bro. All this stuff. Uh, Hollywood is coming to light. But this right here, touching, you know, touching down on what a lot of us grew up on right here. You knowing what was nowadays what was going on behind the scenes back then. Um, you know, you just want to keep your kids away from this stuff, man. People who uh, do this stuff in this kind of spirit, man, and, and you know, they're trafficking kids and trafficking the women and, you know, uh, seeking out uh, kids from broken homes and reeling them in as predator and prey. You gotta know, bro, this is an evil, evil world. And, you know, this this guy right here is evil as he looks. You know, he, he, he looks as serpent like he is as serpent like as he looks and that is coming to light right now but man just to think they're going into homes looking for broken homes being the savior reeling them in and then trafficking them and abusing them and much less there was an article that said that they did this in front of wrestlers they abused them in front of wrestlers and other admin other ceos other executives that they abused them it was like a show so this is going to get deep and you see the law firm says they're going to relentlessly seek out truth. So that means there's a lot more information. There's a lot more details about this to come. Not that I'm into the details of this per se, but it's going to be interesting to see how much dirt and, and stuff was actually going on, uh, you know, with these people. Forget the characters, uh, the actual people that were involved in this and that are involved in this. And I think that that's something that, you know, has to be covered too. Uh, moving forward is is who is actually checking them when vince mcmahon has this circus road show for 40 years like 50 years like this who is checking him you know what i mean that's how he was able to get away with this nobody's checking him and and who can he's a billionaire so i mean and and those so-called people are untouchable those so-called billionaires are untouchable they get a a, a status label as such uh, according to their financial esteem and next thing you know they're untouchable and they can end up running something so big that the government the government doesn't see them trafficking these boys the government doesn't see them abusing these boys much less you know the the general public to get away with it for that many years and the government doesn't even find out and and we have to get a leak on tmz H how is that possible bro you can sell blank for a freaking a few weeks and get caught how he do this and not get, and not get caught for all these years, bro? <laughs> you gotta ask yourself. You gotta think, man. What's going on here? These are some evil people, scandalous, bro. Scan scum of the earth for this, bro. This is this is bad, man. And I, all you can do is pray for these young people that uh, have to live their life. They pretty much got sold into this and um, into this lifestyle, into this road show right here, this this circus road show. Um, they got sold into this thing, man, and they didn't. They they never owned their life, probably ever. Had, had ownership over their life, and uh, that's sad. But put what you think down in the comments, man. Let me know what you think if you watch it to the end. God damn, Vince, Linda, Linda, man, them people, they in it together, bro. All of them. 